Hi friends, I'm Papa Joe and welcome to a new Call of Duty mobile video on this channel. In this video I want to share with you some more very interesting information that you need to know about the new Season 7 in Call of Duty Mobile after I already shared some news with you yesterday. Be sure to subscribe to me and activate the bell for daily COD Mobile content. Let's jump right into the video. We start the video by taking a look at the anticipated theme of the new Season 7 in Call of Duty Mobile because a few days ago the Chinese version released the first teaser of the next season which we're about to take a look at. More than a week ago, the official COD Mobile YouTube channel published a video about the Season 6 Battle Royale updates and in some places they discovered new features that will probably be added in Season 7. For one. You can clearly see in the video a large hemisphere which is currently not found in BR and refers to Season 7. Also, some places on the BR isolated map are colored purple which probably refers to the themed event of Season 7. Otherwise, you can see an orange PC at Killhouse which also has something to do with the upcoming event. Currently you can find different Altus Corporation posters in Battle Royale which refer to the new season and a possible Battle Royale event. Basically we can look forward to a big BR update in Season 7 possibly because Warzone Mobile is about to release the first beta test. More information can be found in yesterday's Warzone Mobile video on my channel. The new teaser of the Chinese version reveals the theme of the new season and if I'm not mistaken we can look forward to a cyberpunk or futuristic based season. Already in Season 1 New Order the developers dealt with the cyberpunk theme and I liked it very much. Furthermore, we can see from the new teaser that we can expect a grandiose new multiplayer map, because in a new teaser from Garena this map is called New Vision City. I am personally very curious if we will get a cyberpunk based season and feel free to write your opinion about it in the comments. After the new season 6 to the skies was released the Chinese version announced a new collaboration which I already shared in some videos on my channel so I won't go deeper into it. The highlight of the new collaboration is the new Destiny Reborn Lucky Draw which includes the brand new Ranbing character, a nice new legendary skin for the AK-117 and other interesting rewards. Many assumed that this new collaboration was created only for the Chinese version, but recently Garena also announced the Destiny Reborn Lucky Draw and recently this interesting draw was released in Garena. However, be aware that players in Global will probably not receive this lucky draw. Besides the two main interesting rewards, the new collaboration draw includes a new skin for the SVD called Precision Royale as well as a new skin for the secondary 50GS. In addition, the draw includes an epic parachute, a fun and unique legendary charm, the legendary Beyond Limits calling card, the badass epic Link Age emote, a new skin for the rally car called Precision Royale, and an epic skin for the smoke grenade. What is your opinion on the new collaboration in Garena and the Chinese version? Drop me your thoughts in the comment section. As some of you have noticed, in the current test server update for Season 7 and Season 8 a mode was discovered which will finally return. We are talking about the classic zombie mode which was speculated months ago and will most likely return for the new season. However, we get an improved zombie mode compared to 2019 because besides the brand new zombie battle pass with many rewards like epic skins for the RPD or the J358 revolver, in my opinion the zombies look different than a few years ago. Fittingly. I would like to show you a short gameplay of the zombie mode from the test server and I am happy about any feedback from you.
Now that we know that a new mythic blueprint will be added to the game in Season 7 and Season 8, some people have asked me if a legendary character skin will be released in the next seasons. While this information has not been confirmed, I assume that we can expect a redux draw in Season 7 that will bring a well-known legendary character back into the game. We are talking about the legendary Reaper Ashura, who had his premiere in Season 7 Elite of the Elite. Due to the fact that this season the Mythic Peacekeeper will be released in a redux draw and the developers will alternately bring back a Mythic skin or a legendary character per season I am pretty sure that the legendary Reaper Ashura will return in season 7 because besides the character fits perfectly to the theme of the upcoming season. Last but not least, we take a look at some rumors and speculations about the rewards of the next battle pass in Call of Duty Mobile. As we already know, in Season 7 we can expect either the new Switchblade X9S MG or the Krieg 6 Assault Rifle, both of which have been spotted in the current test server. If either of these weapons are released for sure in the next season, we will get an epic skin for the SMG or for the Assault Rifle known from Black Ops on Tier 50 in the new BP. Because the new season will deal with the Cyberpunk theme, I assume that we will get matching blueprints and character skins in the new Battle Pass. So far there is no confirmed information at all, but I personally can imagine character skins like the famous Maxi's Ultra skin from the Lumens Maxi's Ultra Tracer pack appearing in Season 7. I can also imagine character skins from Infinite Warfare because some skins also have the Atlas Corporation logo. What is your opinion? Write me your opinion in the comments. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.